vertical collapse usually a problem on the IC somewhere in here so we're going to have to take this out and inspect it now that I got the board out it's somewhat disconnected I'll have to remove a lot of this dust I can't even see much of anything on this board it's pretty nasty it's just blanketed everything and then I'll be able to look and see if I can find any problems well I vacuumed it out and I took out this board tried to look for the IC chip wasn't sure where it was but there was a lot of um, hard looking joints where it, you know looked a lot like this just crusty and a um, bit dark where there would have been a lot of temperature so I resoldered resoldered some of the joints and that's it so let's see uh, if there's any difference now when we turn it on All right, let's see what progress we can make on the vertical collapse problem. Sometimes it's got the problem, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes mid um, mid gameplay. See right now, you see it's a bit goofy here, some lines. It's it's gonna go bad again in, in a while and the whole screen will shrink again it's been doing that a lot so there's some sort of uh, it's probably just a weak connection on one of the solder joints so we're gonna try and find out where that part is turn it off unplug it open it up and We'll discharge the monitor here and pull the board out. So I'll just turn this off and get back when the board's out. Okay, I found the problem. If you look at these two connectors, this one's very brittle, turned brown. It's obviously been affected by the heat. It's right next to these. Um, chips here. One of these is the IC chip anyway. So I thought ah, maybe I'll replace capacitors but I don't like to do that if I don't have to. And I know that the heat messes up the uh, soldering joints and uh, if you look closely see here's the here's the crispy one. Where these connectors are let's see if you can see there's right there you see the number five and the number four there's a little um gap in the solder. Let me put on the macro lens and zoom in and you can see it. Okay, here's with the macro. Here's what solder joints lo should look like and here's what this one looks like. Very obvious it's the problem. Number four's got that problem too. You can see it a little bit of a crack there. But the others look fine so if you're having electronics issues like this one and you see, and take this back off, and you see that this, you know, one part of it's pretty dry and crispy. Well, after a while, with all the expanding and contracting, some of the joints are going to fail. So I'll just tack, uh, tack that with a little solder, and we'll see what happens. Might as well uh, touch up all the others. Couldn't hurt. All right. <clears throat> so let's see which way did this go? Probably like this. Now, is these joints could have failed too, but I don't think so. 
Maybe it was just on this main board where most of the heat was. <clears throat> so it's not too hard to hook all this back up, so I'm just going to hook it all up. And then if I have to, I'll remove the board again. back up. This one is really hard to, really stiff. I don't want to mess up anything else while I'm doing this. Yeah, really bending the board down. <clears throat> Oh great, which way did that go? I think it was like that. Yeah, black on top. I'll just refer to the picture that I took to make sure that I have this wired up correctly. It's always good to take photos of wiring because stuff like this happens. This one can fit both ways and you don't want to hook it up wrong. Okay, let's make sure everything's hooked up. Okay, yeah, I don't see any loose wires. So I'll go back and look at the picture to make sure I did this one right. Alright, I just took a look at the pictures and it's opposite the way I thought it was. So I'm going to turn this around and hook it up like that. So, it's a good thing I did that or I wouldn't have known. Okay, let's switch it on and see how it works. There we go. So, check the solder joints next to the high temperature areas. In this case it was an IC chip that's on a separate board. Um, you can even give it a little a bit of a wiggle to see if it changes your display at all. That's if you have this set up here. You might not have that and in this in that case it wouldn't make a difference but I would still poke around and you gotta look pretty close at these connections. It might pay off just to resolder them all if it's a small area. So I'd like to thank uh, ArcadeRepairTips.com for helping me fix this. 
and they're awesome videos. You should check them out. They got a lot of great stuff.